Hello there guys and welcome back to YouTube FC. Today we're going to be starting off with a squad report and you guys can take a look at your individual stats. Matthew James as you can see, I've got to go through all of them. If you want to stop on your player then feel free to do so and take a look at their stats a little bit more in detail. But everybody is growing really well. Apart from the older guys, unfortunately that is Jack Black for some reason. Didn't expect him to be that old but that's a mistake on my part. But everyone seems to be growing really well. And hopefully by the end of the season, when we get up there, we can have some 80 rated players. That's going to be the target for the end of the season, of course. And um, I don't know why Shea Stanley's pitch is that. That's so crazy. that He's a creative player and he's got this random picture. Chopper, I don't understand. Anyway, um, hopefully we get some 80 rated players. Next season is the season we're going to have to push for the league, I think. And Champions League and stuff like that. So um, when the players are better... That is when we're going to be able to do that. But right now, I think Howard is our highest rated at 78. Robson's up there now at um, 77. Bobst is down three to a 68. He's going down pretty quick, unfortunately. I did bring in Rodrigo Palacio just to try and sell him. Um, no, actually, we had to bring him in as a um, objective from the board, um, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, so that's the squad report, boys. Um, you guys are going to obviously stop when you need to, uh, to see your individual stats. I also want to show you, though... Just before we get into this game is the highest selling shirts and things like that. So you can see here, shirt sales for the past week, it's been Howard, Lewis Robson and Adidas. The Strikers are selling the most shirts apparently. You can actually look back um, down the line and you can see it's the same three players again there the week before. Game number one though today is going to be us taking on Spurs in the FA Cup. Now Spurs beat us recently in the league by three goals to one. Maybe a little bit of vengeance, a little bit of revenge here for us today. It's going to be a tough one as we know they are top of the table, but this is the FA Cup. Hopefully, we can knock them out at home at YouTube Arena. Here we are then at the YouTube Arena for this FA Cup game against Tottenham Hotspurs. As I said, a chance for revenge. It would be sweet if we could knock them out of the FA Cup. It would probably mean they'd just concentrate on the league harder and possibly go and win it. But at the same time, we would like to win the FA Cup. So, in this first season, I don't think we're going to be able to win the league. The FA Cup is probably our biggest chance of a trophy this first season. As you can see, we are around a 16 stage. Um, hopefully, again, we can go through here in one of the toughest days. Deli Alley into Nassia Chadley. A tackle by Bevan, but Chadley keeps the ball here now. The West Brom player, of course. Slips it into Deli Alley. And PJ is trying to get a tackle in. And Matthew James makes the save. There's Harry Kane. Deli Alley. Good tackle by. Bevan, the ball will pop out here to Victor Wanyama. Now here's Ben Davis. Into Nassia Chadley. Now Bentaleb with a little bit of room here. No one's closed him down. It's come back to Nassia Chadley. PGH with the block. The ball's up in the air. Bentaleb heads it down. It's Harry Kane. PGH with another tackle. Strike away by Chadley. Wide of the post. PGH was in there well. Lisa Madden has just literally been flipped over by Nabil Bentaleb. PGH is down injured. Not to get this two plays down here. PGH is injured again. Are you absolutely kidding me? He's just returned from a broken ankle. As he caught by just throwing into Jazza. Turns his man well there, Jazza. Whips across in towards Adidas, who won the header. Back in towards Adidas. It's going to go all the way through, though, this time. Walker can clear it away. Into Jazza. Finds crazy cop bite. Now Adidas. And Brad Lanton. It's a good block, and Shane's gaming. Good save. Cast Games wins it back. Brad Lanton. Shane looks back for Brad Lanton again, but Ben Davis has done well. Put it back in there. Now Nabil Bentaleb into Harry Kane. Deli Alley. Walker. Back into Deli Alley again. And Harry Kane again in strike, and what a goal that is. Tottenham lead through Harry Kane, who can't get up. Chaos Games is not letting him. Feet from Jazza as he crosses the ball when Yama's header away. Bevan turns it back in there. It's Brad Lanton on the turn and Brad Lanton. It's a good effort, but Maurice makes the save and Carl Walker clears. It's good football. It's Chadley and Davis link up. And now here is Davis. Cross comes in towards Deli Alley. What has gone on there? What has gone on there? Again, he's not allowed to celebrate Kane as we keep him on the floor. Defensive mistake has allowed Harry Kane to score. Crazy cop right into Jazza. Now Adidas with the turn. Alvaro's on his back here, Adidas. 
It's still Adidas. It's a good save. He was fouled on the second after the shot. It's now Crazy Copper who can't turn it in. Full time whistle is gone, boys. We are out of the FA Cup. Destructive performance, really. We showed glimpses there of real quality at times, but in the end, Harry Kane, he scored a worldie, and then he was gifted a second. That's that's really, really poor performance. Probably one of our worst performances, although we did play well at times. Game number two, then. We are going to take on Leicester, but before that, we have to assess the injury of PGH. He has sprained his ankle and will be out for about four weeks, so hopefully that's just three weeks, and he should be back for next episode. But again, it's disappointing that he goes down injured. It's disappointing we keep getting these injuries. I've had so many this year. Here's a look at the league table before we jump into these league games, though. As you can see, fifth place at the moment, a game in hand on Swansea. A win today against Leicester would take us level on points with Swansea. It's then a case of whether or not we can stay up there throughout the rest of the season while Arsenal and Man City are chasing us. I think that's what's going to happen. I think Swansea will probably drop off. We should then go above them into fourth place, and then it'll be a question of whether we can hold off the chasing pack of Arsenal and Manchester City. Here's the lineup we go with then. Team number two, as we know, Bolton and Paterski. We'll start centre-backs for this one. AGM in goal. The rest of the lineup, you know how it is. Pressure from Salter and he wins it back well there. And Salter can slide it into Howard. An early chance for Howard and it's saved and turned in by Chopper Stanley for 1-0. A brilliant start to this game. We didn't get the finish as I thought we would. But Chopper was on hand. To put it into the back of the net. Salter did really well. He finds Howard. Goes with his left foot. Good save by Schmeichel. And he squeezes it in there. Chopper at the near post for 1-0. Hernandez fakes a throw in. And then goes for the long one. Matty Bolton wins it. The zombie Hunter can find Chopper Stanley. He plays it in behind. And look at the room in behind Leicester already. And Howard can latch onto it. And it's Howard. He goes for the dink. And it's in for 2-0. What a brilliant finish from Howard. What a start to this game. Eight minutes in and we are two up against Leicester. What a counter-attack that is. Unbelievable. Breakaway football and what a finish from Howard with a little dink on his left foot. 2-0. Does go for goal. Matty Bolton has got it off the line there. Not sure whether AGM had it covered. Doesn't really matter. Drubo trying to break away now. Attack from Zombie Hunter who wins it cleanly. And Zombie Hunter now goes for goal and he couldn't quite get the bend on it. Drubo's throw in. Tommy Hunter into Chopper. Now here's Umar. That went to Bowie Boss who strikes first time. Blocked and now it's cleared up in the air. Matty Bolton wins it. Chopper with the turn. And Salter just nicked it back there. And Howard can find Salter again. And Schmeichel saves. Just before the break. Denied a third. Corner now. Drew to take it. Flicked by Howard across the goal and cleared away. Jamie Vardy thinks he might be having a run Umar here. Umar will take that chase all day. And that's really good work from Umar defensively. A chance on the counter-attack there, but at half-time we lead 2-0. Into Drubo. Shamalama's going around him here. Shamalama beats Danny Simpson well there. No one in the box for Shamalama to pick out there. We have Morris is back there, but Shamalama's still going. And delivery will find Zombie Hunter and Drubo in the box and he scores. It's 3-0. Dominated performance. Got a little bit lucky with that one for sure. But Drubo finds the back of the net and on the hour mark, we make it three. Ball knocked here into Hernandez. Ball in towards Riyad Mahrez over the ball for Leicester. Full-time whistle goes. A convincing win in the Premier League. We needed that bounce back. A very mix of emotions so far in this episode. The defeat to Tottenham was hard to take. We bounced back against the champions. 3-0 winners. Third and final game of today's episode then. We are going to take on Hull City at the KCOM Stadium. A difficult game, but we've now in fourth place, as you see from the table, ahead of Swansea. Arsenal Man City have actually dropped underneath Crystal Palace. They do have a game in hand. But if we keep winning... They have to keep chasing us. We have to keep winning. This is such a vital game away from home. It's going to be tough, but we need to put in the performances. Hopefully, we can go and do that and get three points against Hull today. Tackle by Jack Black was a good one. Now, here's Maxwell. Heavy first touch, but he's allowed that from the Hull defenders. Bobster into Lewis Robson. Just looking to skip past Davis. In the end, the strike was blocked by Davis. Ball still in there. Robson wide of the post. 
Bobster into Ashwood Riguez. Now Calvin, as he turns away and can find Lewis Robson, who turns himself and slips it into Maxwell. Side netting, are you kidding me? Good kick out to find Lewis Robson. And Lewis can get it back here. Look at the room for Bobster. Bonds is back up, I think, and Bobster strike hits McGregor. Maxwell into Lewis Robson. Dovey's got a little bit tight there. And it's going to get slipped into Lewis Robson. And surely now for Lewis Robson, he scores. 1-0 to YouTube FC. Lewis Robson and Maxwell linking up. Slightly lucky on the build-up play. Davies' tackle falls for Maxwell. First time ball's a very good one. And Lewis Robson finishes in front to goal for 1-0. A ball went out of play, ref. Livermore. Snodgrass. Ball clipped in. Bends his header away. Ash Rodriguez can clear it. Lewis Robson looks to bring it down. Bobster was looking to get in behind. Ball long into Davis. Now his Snodgrass. Strike away wide of the post. Bobster's flick will find Lewis Robson. First touch got away from him, though. Full have gone long here. On the rate of game, who doesn't win the first header. And now here's Davis. Pokes it through and a chance for Snodgrass. He's missed it and the three points are ours. The final whistle goes. It is an away win. We continue collecting three points. Exactly what we needed. That is going to do it for this episode, though, guys. Thank you, as always, for watching. And I will see you in the next one very soon.